Hello YouTube, this is yet another video of my upcoming product, the OLEDI track. And uh, I wanted to show you another function, or actually two functions, which it will be capable of. First one is again, if it's connected to the computer per USB cable, it will be able to show the monitor the PC data such as temperatures, speeds and available RAM. The code for this is not written by me so as you can see there are some inconsistencies as to the readout. I have not adjusted the code so it's giving me on certain uh, data the same readouts. But this will vary with your PC setup, with your hardware. And as you can see in the links on my product page that the, with the code that you can adjust it. So anyhow, this was just the already stats if I reset it you're gonna see the startup screen and then that it shows the data okay so now I'm gonna unplug this the other functionality I'm gonna add is burning bootloaders so let me adjust my camera real quick so I can get a wider view okay so to upload new code as you know you click the enter button click reset wait for the red LED to come on let go of the center button and then it goes into the menu as seen here <coughs> excuse me and here I have, I called it burn boot. Oops, that was wrong. That was the breakout game. This is what you get if you look at it through the camera. Anyhow, we are going back to the menu. Okay. Okay, this is a version of the OptiLoader code. I just added it to be able to have a readout on OLED display and which my updated OLED track will have is a SPI connection so you can use any 328 or the SMD version with those small holders for them and you're going to be able to do it with just attaching obviously I, I cannot attach this to this so you will have six wires only going to the breadboard and I will plan make a plan of course for that and once it's there all you have to do is press uh, reset for next chip so you will press the chip and then it's gonna load it power on and of course it says failed because nobody's attached to it and then the target power gets turned off and then you're ready for the next chip so and if it does upload the burn loader it says done so this will be an uh, in-the-field way to burn bootloaders, bootloaders without having to have your PC with you or at any other place. So I will, I cannot demo it on here because the SPI is not connected on here, obviously. It will be with not the double, but I will have single pin headers on the side, basically. Of course inside 
and then you can just have jumper wires to do it what I actually want to show you is but I cannot take it out of there I had a rig up for my previous Oledinu PCB and I had used this to burn bootloaders also with that I was just holding the circuit board it's not the right one yet but you get the idea you was holding it like this and then burning the bootloader this was attached to the Arduino Uno and uh, it was working beautifully what I actually thought of to have the pinout for the chip right in the front of here so you could technically get your SMD chip place it on here press down on it slightly press reset and then you can upload the code so you don't have to buy this huge brick anyhow this was obviously only work with the SMD chips and not the dip switch the dip version of the 328 but uh, since I do a lot of burning bootloaders as you can uh, think because I have I'm going to show you what I have here if I don't drop it and spill it all over the place this is what you are looking at here I have 129 plus this one is 130 of these chips and for that I need a bootloader so obviously doing it uh, with my other PCB like that it's a little annoying but it works anyhow I'm also thinking of making a standalone uh, bootloader burner PCB that will incorporate this thing and the uh, zip socket zero injection force that you can just take out and place in so I might do that but that's another project so anyhow what I wanted to actually say is I will have two more functions other than the already mentioned apps and many more on the OLED track which you can use to burn bootloaders I don't think that there's anything available like this so this is will this will be the first I'm also planning on making a Arduino Devel Deluxe Development Station I know it's a long name but it's gonna be practically Arduino Uno in SMD version and instead of a breadboard it's gonna have a PCB with all kinds of connections for all kinds of sensors like I have here the many 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 sensors that you find these days that you can use and normally you plug all these in into a breadboard and connect wires to it and have a big mess like I have here let me show you in this see this breadboard on the back that's what I that's what I work with and on this I don't even have that many sensors on there but as you see the, um, the whole clutter here is just unreal anyhow that will be will be another project that I want to make I thought of that earlier too but I never got around to it so and I'm calling it uh, development station deluxe I could just call it PCB or board but why not I make it I can choose the name anyhow that's gonna be started or actually I'm gonna start on it in the next few days 
and it will of course also have a rotary encoder and an OLED display. Actually I'm planning on incorporating my OLED scope onto the PCB with its own processor of course. So you can just use jumper wires, yes, and measure different voltages or signals on the PCB itself. And so you won't need to have a multimeter next to it, which I have also, which I use my old proven Matex multimeter. This guy is with me for over 35 years already and still working. Anyhow, uh, this was actually just going to be a short update on the OLED track, but I put other things in here. So, anyhow, thanks for watching. I wish you a nice weekend if you happen to have to look at it today or tomorrow. And take care, YouTube. See you later.